This is very nice background music. Do you hear it? Because I sure don't. Due to the popularity of my Google Translate videos, the best one even getting to 160 views, I decided to make another Google Translate video, but this one's gonna be different. This one has water involved. And I know the mac and cheese video had water in it, but this one only has water. That's it. As you can see by the title, which I haven't figured out while I'm recording this, uh, Google Translate is gonna make me drink water. So I took the directions on how to fill a glass of water with water from the sink and put it through Google Translate. This is the result. Also, thank you for a sea of starlight for the suggestion. Let's start. Step one, take a bowl. That seems like a pretty easy step to me. Oh, this is two. Bowl acquired. What's the next step? Step two, open the box and fill the washing machine with water. Okay, let's process those directions one at a time. The first half of it was open the box. The only box I see is this one right here. Uh, I don't know why it's so heavy. It says fragile on it. Uh, I guess let's open it. I can't see any packaging at all while I'm putting this together. This is what's inside. Maybe they have some use on that packaging yet. second half of this. Open the box and fill the washing machine with water. Okay, let's get some water then. So I assume what it wants us to do is fill this bowl uh, with water and then throw it into the washing machine. So I'll just do that. Holy what? So here's my bowl of water. I'm in the washing machine room right now. Okay, we filled the washing machine with water. Now what? Step number three. There are bread and water. Are there though? There's not much water in here, but there is bread here. Now, there are bread and water. Step four, syrup on frozen sugar. Hey Siri, what's the melting point of sugar? 170 degrees Celsius. So, I think we'll be good. Uh, so the sugar's already frozen, it doesn't really matter. Um, it doesn't say how much sugar though. So I'll do like a tea tablespoon, I guess. So, I got my tablespoon right here, my bowl, the same, this is the same bowl by the way. My bowl right here. So, uh, so I'll do the regular sugar. One tablespoon directly into the bowl. And just like last time, it doesn't say how much syrup I should use. So I guess I'll do one tablespoon as well. Syrup is kind of like a can of pickles. You can never take the cap off. So one tablespoon of sugar. Or, so one tablespoon of syrup. There, one tablespoon on top of the sugar. And now I'm gonna mix it. Fortunately though, okay, let's mix it. Yum, yeah, this is probably gonna be the saltiest sugar that was. This is probably gonna be the sugariest uh, syrup that I've ever tasted. The sweetest sugar syrup. That looks like enough. Step five. The paper is not too hard. Yeah, I can see why. It will burn. Let's test the theory. Yep, it's burning. It just burned. and the work goes to the end of the page. I mean, if you look really closely, 
the fire, the burned spot does go to the end of the page, right there. Do you see it? There. Well, now that we've confirmed all three theories, let's move on to the next step. Step six, short list. What? <laughs> if you're talking about yourself, then yes, this is a short list with only six steps. So let's try this concoction we have crafted. Looks pretty sweet. Yep. It tastes like when you add too much sugar to anything. And syrup too. That's gonna be it for Google Translate. Uh, if you wanna see more, look in the description. I made a playlist. Like and subscribe for a 100% chance of the like and subscribe count going up by one.